And you don't get it. It's not just get rid of crap your husband doesn't like. It's not? It's, you want to be passive aggressive? I have a beige booty problem. <laughs> This is the episode where we set our house on fire. <laughs> I have long been obsessed with Marie Kondo. Yes. Years ago, I read The Life-Changing oh, wow. Magic of Tidying Up. And now she has a show on Netflix. I'm obsessed. But it's like a real thing now. Uh, now, but in my life, it yeah. has been for years. Once a quarter, I go through our house and I throw everything away. Here are pictures of what I did last month, right before Christmas. I went through my son's room, I went through my room, and I got rid of half of our closet. The rest of your family isn't really doing this, so you're kind of leading I, the charge. I live with hoarders. Yeah. Here's the deal. With me, when the outside of my life is calm and clean, the inside of my head can be calm and I can think better. I love you. Love I love you. you. But you've never been Marie kondo before by anyone in our family. This is true. So today, we're gonna Marie Kondo Kim. So I've got three things that um, I think we should get rid of. And you're going to tell me what your friend Marie would say and whether or not you should keep this. If it brings me joy, I can keep it. I... Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. Number one. This blanket is basically loose hair. It's like someone went to the barber shop and took all of the hair that I've gotten from my haircut and it occasionally, like it loops out like this and it gets in my mouth anytime I put it near my face. It was a wedding present. Our kids love it and they snuggle with it, but it does not personally necessarily bring me joy. You may get rid of it. I'm so it. proud of you. So, yeah, okay. I am heartless. Okay. I will okay. throw okay. away some stuff. Number two. Decorative tray. I mean, it kind of keeps our remotes handy. So I tried putting a wine glass on this once. Why, but there's a whole table. Why would you do that? I don't know but it fell over. <laughs> the main issue that I have with this, and I love you, I'm putting my feet up. That's what this is for, right? Mm -hmm. For putting your feet up. Okay. So we're gonna get rid of this? Okay, awesome. Number three. I use that four times a week. And when you're done using it. I clean it. It looks like this. No, and you don't get it. No, 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 I use this. It just uh, it brings me the opposite of joy. It's not just get rid of crap your husband doesn't like. It's not? It, no. <laughs> Is that the rule? Can I suggest some things we get rid of? I figured yours? this was coming. Would it make you feel better if you if you Marie kondo me right now? <laughs> So Kim was telling me like all of Facebook is absolutely in love with Marie Kondo. She's changing everyone's lives. Maybe it's a gender thing, but my Facebook feed is like Marie Kondo. Marie Kondo is ruining my marriage right now because I got home and my wife threw away half of my clothes. So anyway. Oh. <laughs> We, so are you gonna bring that in the house? We have a grill outside. Heck of a grill. Why do we need this? In case we go camping. Where are we gonna put it to go camping? Oh God, this is a really good, got really good even oh, heat. But, I know, but I know, why? I know, I know. I know we have great. a grill. Somebody could use this. Think of the joy this would bring somebody else. That is a great grill. You're asking a man to throw away a grill? Does, does, it, does this feel a little bit like Kim's Revenge to you guys? Just a little bit? Oh! <laughs> Painted by his ex-girlfriend. It's a picture of me and my dad! It it's like beautiful! Ex-girlfriend, you did a beautiful job. It is never hung anywhere, 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 and it is symbolic of the expletive bleep we have full in our attic that is just taking up. So I tripped up there because there's so much Crap. Did you and trip over some of your Christmas decorations? No, because you they are neatly arranged. Yeah. This is the beach house that my great grandfather won on a poker bet that got taken away from us by the government. The government. And this is the only watercolor painting by an ex girlfriend that I have of this. <laughs> there are no other. Stand by. We may keep this. Next. Like the way that she's walking. It's violent. I'm, I'm, like, I've never seen anyone walk so violently. Oh, okay, hang on. You can, that's Hold one on. item, Hold not on. seven items. Hold on, one second. No, 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 stay there. Hold on. This doesn't have a match. This one can go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't even know whose this is. This is not my flip flop. So, this is gonna get fun, because you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna compare shoe piles. 
She's gonna bring all of my shoes out. Should I go ahead and start getting her shoes? Two can play in this game. I, you can get rid of the tap shoes. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> tap shoes. I'm not sure why those are there. Tap shoes. You must be passive aggressive? I ain't passive aggressive. Some of these are your daughters that have been mistakenly put into my room. <laughs> Hey. Hey, honey. I love you. I love you too. So I want to clarify this. I don't have a problem with how many shoes Kim has. I never said that. I do have a problem with Kim having a problem with how many shoes I have. Here's my problem. Look at- Internet, no, no, no. Internet, my problem is that his shoes exist everywhere around the house. But that's, that's not what this was about. Would you admit that you have a beige- I have a beige booty problem. <laughs> oh, let just... me count the beige booties. Hold on, one. Two. I have a booty problem. That being said, I put my shoes in the right place all the time and there's a place for all of them. Not what the conversation was about. Hi, sorry. Um, <laughs> it just wasn't. These don't have twins. Yeah. Bye-bye. The fact that I have two pairs of golf shoes is absolutely unforgivable. Yeah. Um, Those smell to high heaven. You've had no, these since no, I've no, known you. No. These can go, these are like Frankenstein. Here's where we get sentimental. Those are the shoes you wore at our wedding. I've been wedding. trying to throw those away, but I got married in those. Hold on. Let's keep them. I know Marie Kondo would say to toss them. Yeah, I, I've been wanting to toss these for a while. You're the one who's having trouble with that. You know what, you, you know what I also got married in? This skin. <laughs> okay, let's toss them. I, we can try to donate no them. No one's, no, look at this, no. I've had these rebuilt like five times. I know, five. okay. I don't wear, do you want a pair of, Ugg sandals. Say hi to Bianca. Great. This is our niece, Bianca. This is my niece, Grace. Is this your favorite episode ever? Ever. <laughs> Honey, I don't want you to throw any of these away because it means you're gonna no, buy more shoes. I want, like, no, I'm... I want to clean and be <laughs> clear and no. have no clutter. But then you're gonna buy more new shoes. No, I'm not. I don't want her to throw these away because she's gonna end up these buying these. These I used to wear all the time. You might wear them again. Nah. You might wear them again. But... What are you doing? <laughs> okay. These are Manolo Blahniks. Pen, this is his first gift to me, was this beautiful. Why would you buy a pair of shoes for a girl you've been dating for three months? It was a Christmas present and um, they didn't really fit, but- and I told her when I gave them to her, you should take these back no. if you don't like them. But I did like them and he was so sweet and so proud. Look how dusty they are. I know. <laughs> Here, oh. She refuses to throw them away. But I, I don't want to throw them away. And so Marie yeah. Kondo would say, throw them away. No, she, why? I thought you said sentimental value. No, she, she's against sentimental value. This is where I give Marie Kondo the finger. I'm keeping the shoe. Yay! That actually makes me kind of happy. All right, so you're gonna donate those yeah. to people who want them. Let's we'll take them to interact. Yes. We got rid of the shoes. The grill is getting out of here. Do you feel better? Okay, no. Okay, there's so much more to do. Oh my gosh. Okay. Stay tuned. We're gonna do the attic next week. Brings families together. <laughs>